These three problems involve multiplying decimals by the number 10. Now when you have an, a decimal point and you're multiplying by 10, it's pretty simple. The decimal point remains where it is and all digits move one to the left. So we're starting with 1.64 and we're multiplying by 10. The decimal point will stay where it is, but the rest of the numbers will move one point or one place to the left. So this one will move over to the left. It will go here. The six will move one place to the left on the other side of the decimal point, and the four will move to where the six was for our new answer of 16.4. And that's how you multiply by 10 with a decimal. Let's try it right here. We're starting with 19.5 we have different places with numbers in them. And then when we multiply by 10, the decimal point stays where it is. It just goes down here. And all other numbers move one place to the left. I'll erase this arrow here. Oops, our decimal point disappeared. For the correct answer of 195, and then there's the decimal point. If there's no nothing here, it has a value of zero which means we don't even have to write it. So our correct answer is 195 because 195.0 is the same thing as just saying 195. And just one more example, if we have 0 0.54 to start and we have our decimal places, all these decimal places or the decimal point will go the same place and the rest will shift over one. Now here we had a zero to start. It's important to keep the zero before a decimal point to let us know that there's no whole number value there. But we don't need to put a zero in the tens place because a zero in the tens place really doesn't hold any value. So all that we need to do is move the five one to the left, the four one to the left for our correct answer of 5.4.